It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solution to question 59 on the May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper. And that's your multiple choice paper. Now, here it states in 59, in a triangle ABC, angle A is equal to X degrees and angle B is equal to 2X degrees. What is the size of angle C? Now, my friends, before I even get into calculating the value of angle C, uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be simply looking at the whole idea or the whole concept behind a question like this okay so let's just quickly pull up a diagram a triangle now my friends here we have our triangle and we're just going to fill in some very important details and remember please our diagram is not drawn to scale now let's say this is the angle a this is the angle b and this is our angle C. Now, they have given us some very important piece of information. Here they said that the angle A is equal to X degrees. So let's just fill that in quickly. So my angle at A is equal to X degrees. Also, they gave us the angle at B. And they said that the angle at B is equal to 2X degrees. Okay? Now, the angle at C, they didn't get... They didn't give that angle to us. That's the angle they're asking us to find, obviously, okay? So I'm going to mark that angle, and I'm going to put a question mark there. That's what I'm trying to find. Now, my friends, we would have learned in earlier lessons that the sum of the interior angles in any triangle sums to 180 degrees. So, for example, if I, should, if I had a value for each of these angles, for example, the angle at A, and I would have added that value, so I, when I add the, the, the angle at A to the angle at B to the angle at C, I must get a, a total of 180 degrees. That's simply what I'm saying. Okay? So given that, given that fact, I can simply say then, I can write an equation that represents this information that is given. So I can simply say angle A plus the angle at B plus my angle at C must be equal to 180 degrees. Now they have given us some values so we can quickly substitute. They gave us the, the angle at A, at some expressions rather. They gave us the angle at A to be X degrees. So I can just simply by substitution then say then that the angle of A is X plus my angle at B which they gave us to be 2X and my angle at C plus the angle at C, which we don't know, so I'm just going to write it back, that's what we're trying to find, must be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, guys, now simply, we can just go ahead and collect like terms. We have a x plus a 2x, so that will give us a 3x, okay, plus my angle at C, which we don't know. So by transposition, if you notice here, my friends, what we have, we have a 3x being added to our angle C. Now we need to take the 3x to the right side of the equation. Now since it's positive, we're going to have to subtract 3x from both sides. So really what I'll have here is my 3x that I had minus 3x plus my angle at C plus my angle C must be equal to 180. And then I did something new on this side, which was to subtract. 3x so i have to do it on that side okay minus my 3x now we know here that a 3x a positive 3x will cancel out with a negative 3x hence i am left with angle c which they're asking us to find must be equal to 180 minus 3x and since it's an angle we're going to just put that in bracket and it should be in degrees okay so really what we're going to be looking for we're going to be looking for this answer here okay in the option and obviously that would be option d okay my friends and it's pretty much that easy hope that this was useful feel free to comment or ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible see you in the next video where we'll be looking at the solution to question 60.